person to know is Naomi Cleaver. She's an interior designer and you may have seen her on television. Naomi has had an interesting past. At the age of 17, she left home and with no money, she ended up living in grotty old bedsits. But that was back then. To this present day, what is she doing now? She's designing student accommodation, which is brilliant. She's learned from those experiences. She knows what she doesn't want. She knows what people don't want. And now she's gonna give people what she does want. That's fantastic. Also, she's working on this new thing called Build to Rent. And that's becoming more and more popular. She also gives her top tips and recommendations as to what you should be doing if you wanna get into interior design. And rule number one, go and work on a building site. See how everything comes together so that you can work with these people because building relationships is key. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching. And then I ran away from home when I was 17, um, before I sat my A-levels and just was living in grotty old bedsits. And at the same time, one of the many rubbishy jobs I had, actually not so rubbishy, was extraing in pop videos. Uh, and then I got really interested in what the art department were doing and they said, well, look, if you want to work in movies and in pop videos, the best course is at Wilsdon College of Technology, which is probably now the University of North East London or something. Yeah. Um, and it was a great course because it wasn't just um, interior design, but you studied alongside bricklayers and plumbers and, you know, you were working alongside trades, which was fantastic. So I did that and then I ran out of, I did graduate, went to work with Fitch for a year, which is a big design firm. Mm -hmm. Um, then I went to Kingston for a couple of terms, but then had to drop out because I had no money, basically. Okay. And I always say to people who are interested in studying interior design, the best thing you can do, it, as well as you know, making sure you study your theory, is actually work on a building site. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, in your summer holidays, and really understand how things are made and how things are put together, and how to work as part of a team. I mean, you all know, we all know in the design business that there is unfortunate kind of. Um, uh, a disconnect sometimes between the architects and the interior designers, the interior designers and the architects, the, the architects and the builders, and um, actually we, we're all working together, we're all working for the same um, goal, and when you work as a team, it's it's a beautiful thing. And the, the other guys that we work with are our fund managers and our contractors. Just the joy of creating something and creating something that is going to enhance people's lives. In a lot of the work that I do and a lot of the work that I do with clients, I'm always reminding clients that we don't per perceive our built environment just in the one dimension. You know, we have at least five senses. So it's not just what you see, it's what you touch and feel, what you smell. Um, and what you hear as well, you know, it's all these things, uh, acoustics are, you know, as we can, can tell today, <laughs> have a huge influence in the way we perceive a space and understand a space and use a space. I consult a lot of uh, fund um, managers on um, uh, not just how they should procure the interior design of the buildings that they are mm -hmm. developing, but also take a few steps further back and actually strategize what the spaces are meant to achieve, who we're selling to, how we sell to them, how we communicate with them and how we create relationships with them. And that is particularly important in build to rent. So build to rent is one of the most dynamic sort of property sectors um, uh, in existence at the moment. Sure, there are lots of critics of this particular sort of genre, but the fact is, it's happening. It has to happen. There are a lot of people in the world. There are a lot of people in, the, in cities. There are a lot of people who want to be in cities, and this is the way it is. And actually, if you go to New York, rental is twice as expensive as it is in London. Really? I do think design is... is um, it's a nurturing profession. It should be a nurturing profession. It's about human beings. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, Jonathan Ive, and I've, I've got this on a slide, said that, you know, design is about um, humanity. It's, you know, design is a humanity as much as an art. Mm -hmm. And um, I think in that sense, if people do really want a job with you, they should be writing a nice letter on a nice bit of paper that you can touch with Dear a nice Daniel, pen. For me, a design process is very much couched in logic, and I want to identify... Um, the problems implicit in a brief and then create a solution for those problems. So one of the first things I designed was um, uh, a set of taps wow. and the problem, uh, you know, that, that came out of the fact that 
back in 2010, you can get bronze and brass taps. Mm. Of course, they're everywhere now, but you can get bronze and brass taps. And then also, I really love the way that you have the, those little white ceramic circles that have hot and cold on. You can have anything on those circles. Mm. So you'll see a slide here where I've got kind of a snowflake for cold and a sun for hot. And, mm. and there's a really kind of beautiful graphic opportunity there. Um, and then I've designed a range of wallpaper um, as well. But just just circling back to the design process, I mean, in terms of interior design, I think it is about, you've got to, for me anyway, you've got to start from a place of logic. When it comes to sites, I'm very focused on site specificity, on identifying what the best characteristics of that site are and amplifying those. I keep a sketchbook, so I keep a sketchbook of ideas, and I was just really interested in the Rorschach um, uh, um, ink blots and, um, and, and actually submitted a whole load of designs and then that, that was the one that was chosen. Um, so logic becomes sort of abstraction and appropriation. Yeah. And working with students, I really encourage them to do that. It's not all about taking pictures on your phone because then you get that kind of hideous, kind of gloopy homogeneity. Mm. And it's just Instagram, 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 yeah. Instagram, Insta crap, actually. Yeah. You want the real thing. You want real stuff. Interior designer, you know, I was talking about nurture and being part of a team. It's being able to develop relationships with people and also having these confidence, which comes at different times for different people, to say, this is going to be a good relationship and we really should be working together. Mm. Or actually, and I know you and I have talked about this, to have the confidence to say, you know what, this actually isn't going to work mm. for whatever reason. Your job as the interior designer or a designer, any creative, is to help people develop their brief and understand what their brief is. And you have to have that brief. Mm -hmm. You know, that is your roadmap. So when things start going a bit, you know, a bit off course, mm -hmm. you can go back to your brief and say, yeah. well, we agreed that we do this. And the reason why we're doing that is because of these principles that we established here. Mm -hmm. Success is also about being able to sell your design, sell your ideas. You know, I'm really interested. I'm actually not interested in decoration. Mm -hmm or decor, I'm interested in ideas and materials. Mm. That's just the way, that's just my little thing. It's, it's, it's being, you know, believing in your work and, <coughs> and being articulate enough to bring the client on that journey and sell that story into the clients that they believe it too. And then doing really nice things. So when I present, I will also, be, being a very material-led designer, I will always have kind of brown craft boxes full of tissue paper and materials inside, and they'll be really unusual materials. So you have that, again, almost sense of nurture, sense of gifting, sense of surprise, and clients will, you know, they'll undo the tissue and take the materials out. And it could be could be really random things and the most important thing is to enjoy it it's you know interior design designing anything being able to use your creativity in a professional sense is such a privilege and if you enjoy it everyone else will there are certain interior designers work that i like but i think it's really important to look beyond your sphere and you know it's been fun going around the design shows but i think it's really important to go you know go to museums go to galleries just just be, observ be observant and curious about the entire world around you. I have been invited to design a range of clothes, so uh, which hopefully will launch next year, actually just shirt dresses. But you know, I love that idea of being able to apply your cre creativity a a across disciplines as well. So it's, it's about, you know, it's kind of circles back to what I was saying about being curious. It's just being, um, uh, you know, being prepared to keep learning, just keep learning. And um, yeah, to students, you know, just get yourself on a good course, work hard, but get a lot of work experience and, and learn how to engage with people because interior designer isn't actually about design, it's about people. What, what advice would you give to yourself when you were 18 and 25? Gosh, um, uh, that it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> Is it? I don't need to have a complete and utter nervous breakdown. Um, I don't know. I mean, for me, it's, it's kind of personal because I, I left home when I was 17. And really, um, you know, when I was 18, I didn't really have, any, you know, many options. 
and um, and so really genuinely the thing I would say to myself is you know don't worry it's just gonna it's gonna be okay work hard and and you'll be fine when I was 25 I was in Hollywood working in the film industry um, and I would you know I I'd say to myself what I was saying to myself then is just have a really good time I, I was all about hindsight really because the decisions that you made when you were maybe 18 and 25 would you still make would you make them today I, I'd make the same mistakes yeah <laughs> It's, it's good to make the mistakes. I'd make the same mistakes. Yeah. I mean, back to Dan's point about being establishment. Oh, God, I really, you know, I don't think I am establishment at all. You know, every project I do, I, I feel like I'm, I'm only just beginning. You know, it's a yeah. whole new adventure. Creativity should be about being anarchic to some degree and kicking against the pricks and it's not all nicey nicey you want to be you know you should be provoking people into thinking about things differently what i'm trying to say is everyone wants to be liked and it's actually okay not to be liked and as a creative i think it's important to be prepared not to be liked you know ferdinand porsche said about the porsche when he first designed it on first look it's an ugly car on second look, it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, w- I really think that's what we need to remember as designers. Brilliant. Brilliant. <gasps> I just had to ask, I wanted to know if the decisions that Naomi had made when she was younger, if they had affected or if she thinks she made any, had any regrets, and she didn't, and that's fantastic. I think that's actually a golden opportunity to say, if you do make decisions in your past, if you have done something that you regret, move on, learn from it, develop it and just let go and move on. That's key to survival. Secondly, Naomi has given some fantastic tips in this video. If you are a designer, a wannabe designer, or if even if you're not, I believe that all the skills that we have are transferable, not just at work, but also in life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to see more and thank you for watching. Thank you.